is Kalichi uh, Chioba, who is on uh, my committee. I'm really pleased to have her, and she's so good that the NUS Disabled Students Committee have also uh, stolen her as well. Um, so she's on both. Um, she's also an outspoken advocate for international students. So, Kalichi. and um, I'm here to talk about um, austerity on um, international disabled student. And um, first of all, I will start with saying um, austerity, austerity, then I'll say anti-austerity, anti-austerity, and I will say black students, black students, and I will say international students, international students, and I will say disabled students, disabled students. Why am I saying this? Everybody has been screaming, cut, 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 cut. It was, first of all, it was on the blacks, it was on the international student when they say increasing fees, and the next thing, it hit the white. And we were like, ooh. We were not like, everybody was like fighting for themselves. But now that we are like considering that the blacks are ethnic minority, and being um, disabled, is like a minority. It's been a, it's like a vulnerable case, and whites are saying, um, sorry, normal people as they say, um, normal people are saying, not disabled people are saying that they are being affected by this. But we don't. Can we just sit down and think that if normal people can say I'm affected by this court, what of disabled people out there? not only disabled white, let's say disabled black and disabled international, considering there are two vulnerable, two vulnerable cases in there because they are black one and they are disabled. Most of all, first of all, what this course has affected, that this course has really affected the disabled students, one. First of all, we left our country to come here. Most people, they don't have anyone in this country to look up to. We now depend on everything we have. Most people work tirelessly just to pay their bills and to pay their fees. Now, the new law that has come up in, my, in, in the university is for PhD students, international PhD students. You have to pay 11250 every year, including 5000 bench fee for those that are doing lab works. And if you don't pay 5000 bench fee, including your school fees, you will be blocked from Wolf Internet. And it was like, why should, it's like a racist stuff. Why should we focus on that 5,000? We had a meeting, I was like, okay, let's remove the 5,000. Let them try and pay the 11,250. That is even too much on them as international students. They said, no, they must pay the 5,000 every year. And we will not see, most times when people sit down and they were like, this thing is causing, is <coughs> like, is having, like, how would I say, is like causing them depression. We will not sit back and ask ourselves, what is the problem? Most of them have depression, they are out there. And most of them have dropped out of school, taking leave of absence from the universities, and they say, ah, oh, the blacks are not serious. In fact, they will start writing attendance to know those that come to school and those that don't come to school. But we don't sit down and ask ourselves, it's not the impact of the courts that is causing all these problems. Most of them are in pen hospitals, in mental homes, just because they are, they are being weighed down, being depressed enough not to study. I just want to tell us, if we can stand together, stand together as one, as one body, as a body, the head, the head cannot do without the hand. The hand cannot do without the legs. None of the part of the body, if we cut off the head, <laughs> then nothing else shall work. We shall work together. That's why I say we are body. Let us fight together as one. In everybody, both the LGBT, both the disabled, both the women and the blacks. We all fight together as one body to put an end to this austerity, to this cause. Because if only disabled students, international students are fighting it, they will think that it's only us. It's one man, it's one man which they won't look at us as being serious. But if the whites and the black of it are international students, but if Theresa May can arise and say that every disabled international student should pay 200 pounds 
on top of the 11,250 pounds that we pay, not including our accommodations and everything we pay for. If we can unite and get this petition signed in every university, whether you are disabled, black or not, as far as you're president of the union, I want everybody to unite and write a petition against this. I would, before I now I, I'm going to come to a conclusion and I'm going to draw something from one foundation charity, what they say. They say, they made a statement and say something. We cannot make a huge difference in one day. We can never change the world in one day. But we can make a huge, big difference. Thank you. Kalichi, a real stark reminder about the real impact <coughs> of you know, the austerity and the cuts on poor and vulnerable in society, um, and also probably a very stark reminder of the need to make sure that people who are oppressed in society are able to be at the forefront of the anti-austerity movement and campaigns. 